And just like that, Donald Trump is impeached. But now where do we go from here? This is the Charles Frank Show. Vote. The yeas are 229. The nays are 198. Present is one. Article two is adopted. Right. So that was Nancy Pelosi just smacking the gavel down on Article two of impeachment. Now, there were two articles. The first article was uh, abuse of power. Pretty general. The second article was obstruction of Congress. A lot of people were su uh, surprised that they didn't choose to go with bribery because that's actually um, a crime, a high crime or misdemeanor that is preferred for impeachment, but they kept it pretty general. Now, this is very interesting. This, this chart, we have the chart of all the votes. We have 228 Democrats say yes to the second article. Uh, 195 Republicans say no to the second article. Three Democrats say no to the second article. One person, one very special person said present. And then we have um, three non-vote totals between the Republicans and the Democrats. Now, can you guess who the one person who said present was? I did a video on her earlier, Tulsi Gabbard. So yes, there it is. The president is impeached. Now, this will go into the Senate and they need 67% uh, yeas from the Senate. And that's going to be difficult to do considering that 53 of the senators are Republican and 47 are Democrat. But before we get into that, let's get into some reactions. Donald Trump actually held a rally the same night. Uh, tonight is the night that we're doing this video. The same night of his impeachment. And here's his reaction to the whole crowd when he saw the numbers come in. Check it out. So we got every single Republican voted for us. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Almost 200. So, so we had 198, 229, 198. We didn't lose one Republican vote. And, and three Democrats voted for us here. Hey! And now we're going to get some of the top Democrats' reaction to all of this after the impeachment happened. Now, this was the most important part of the night. The 14-minute post-impeachment announcements spelled out everything that is going to be happening in the next couple months. Okay, let's first get started with the reaction. December 18th, a great day for the Constitution of the United States. A sad one for America. She is boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like to see blah! She won't give that, but inside she is going, ah! On the outside, she's keeping it professional. Good for you, Nancy. But let's get into what she is saying next. Do you view Do you view the House's role in this as complete now, or are there steps you might take to try to ensure, as the chairman suggested, a more fair trial in the Senate? You mean more fair trial than they're contemplating? Because we had a very fair process yes, in the House of Representatives. This is what I don't consider a trail fair trial that Leader McConnell has stated that he's not an impartial juror, uh, that he's going to take his cues, in quotes, from the White House, and he is working in total coordination with the White House Counsel's Office. Okay, so what does that say there? Now, I'm going to be the smartest guy on Facebook and Twitter and be like, he's impeached, but he won't be removed. I'm so smart. Everybody knows that. Here is what is going to happen next. Nancy is going to withhold uh, sending the articles of impeachment to the Senate so that they can start the trial until she likes how the trial will be set up. Now, that means we don't know when the trial is going to be. And what she was saying about Mitch McConnell, he said exactly that. Uh, I'm not an impartial juror. This is a political process. There's not anything judicial about it. Okay, it's not necessarily even a trial. It's a political process process the democrats voted the democrat way the republicans voted the republican way in the house and mitch mcconnell says it's going to be the same way in the senate so the democrats are saying that the trial will start in the beginning of january but we really don't know that at all they don't know that either and if we want to know how long the trial should last we can we can you know maybe get a little bit of the bill clinton impeachment that trial lasted five weeks so the overwhelming consensus 
is that Donald J. Trump will not be removed from office. Why? Because there's only 47 votes, 47 Democrats in the Senate that will vote for removal and 53 Republicans. So there's a 20 vote deficit to remove him. However, Donald Trump is probably feeling a little nervous right now because you're 20 votes away from being removed permanently from the presidency and you can't appeal this vote. There is no appeal process. That's it. You're done. So what if there's Republicans, 20 of them, that are like, all I have to do is vote yay on, a, on removal and he's gone. That's the end of Donald Trump. You know, that could possibly happen. 20 people get together and they're like, yeah, he's kind of a, a jerk to me. And why don't we just do this? Uh, but they want to save their seat. Of course, they won't get voted back in by their state if they do that. So it probably wouldn't happen. But we don't know what's going to happen. We really don't in the end. We don't know when the impeachment's go- or when the, the, the trial in the Senate will be. We don't know if he will be removed totally. I mean, it's not like we're the Simpsons. We can't predict the future. I'm afraid of the future. All right, so there's the update on the Donald Trump impeachment. If you did enjoy this video, then you need to click the like button. You need to comment. But most importantly, you need to hit subscribe. And the subscribe button is either right here or it's right here here it's one of those two and i really would appreciate if you did it because if you do do it then i will keep you updated on all the things about you know all the things this is the charles frank show